Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Arvind Kumar, and today I will be discussing the diet in cases of kidney stone. Kidney stone is a very common problem, and it is known for recurrence. So, how these kidney stones are formed? We have to understand that basic uh, nature of these kidney stones. It is mainly made up of calcium and oxalate. So, calcium binds with oxalate. and if these are excreted more into the kidneys they will precipitate form insoluble product so the diet should include less of oxalate so if there is less of oxalate it will go less into the blood and will be less excreted into the kidneys so these food items are leafy vegetables beans as well as beetroot now there is one more uh, vitamin or uh, that is uh, uh, leading to excretion of or more excretion of oxalate in the uh, urine and that vitamin is vitamin c so therefore understand that not all vitamins are good for the body in overdose they might cause problem so vitamin c which uh, is being taken during the covid infection uh, but if it continue for a long time and it is taken in overdose then it might lead to formation of kidney stone therefore always consult your doctor before starting any vitamins now there are food items uh, which uh, increase the calcium in the urine they are also to be avoided these include animal proteins sodium as well as sucrose sucrose is the common sugar that we take while there are some food items uh, which decreases the uh, risk of the uh, kidney stone and uh, they uh, have this mechanism of action by reducing the calcium excretion in the urine and these are the potassium rich foods and again they should be taken in moderation uh, not in excess these are the fruits that we daily consume now what about the calcium so this is a common misconception that kidney stone patients should avoid taking calcium in the diet but it is the other way around calcium should be taken why because this calcium of food binds with the oxalate and prevents its absorption from the intestine so if it is not absorbed from the intestine then it will not go into the blood and it will not be excreted into the kidneys so uh, the calcium rich food decreases the risk of the calcium uh, decrease the risk of the stone formation what about the calcium supplement so the calcium supplements can be taken but with the food because that calcium supplement will bind with the oxalate of the food and prevents its absorption so problem occur when the calcium supplements are taken in overdose and uh, uh, they are taken outside the food so that means ki uh, when they are taken not with the food they will be absorbed more into the blood and might cause problem so can uh, ask your doctor ki what will be the better time for taking these calcium supplements especially if one have kidney stone do not stop uh, calcium in the diet otherwise bones will become weak of course uh, these uh, water intake should be increased uh, like if water intake is less less than 1 liter it doubles the risk of kidney stones so there should be a liberal water intake because that flush out that calcium uh, and oxalate from the uh, kidneys and the food uh, uh, items that uh, causes a diuretic effects like uh, coffee tea intake wine or beer they also reduce the uh, kidney stone uh, formation so if you have any doubt regarding this uh, uh, today's uh, discussion you can uh, put your comments and put your message uh, on this whatsapp number Thank you all of you